Good morning. Today we are looking at conditions that are going to be well on the wet side for a lot of us. We've got some uh, continued areas of rainfall coming down. It's still on the breezy to windy side out there too. And you can see that we've got raindrops on our camera in Devil's Lake. That's an area where it's been raining pretty much all morning so far. And if you've got some travel plans today, whether it's just heading to work, heading home from work, or maybe you're hitting the road for uh, longer destinations. Well, we are talking about showers possible throughout the valley. Doesn't mean it's going to rain the entire time valley wide, but the potential is there. And so we've got some caution lights for you here for travel this morning and even into the later afternoon hours when we could also not just see scattered rain, but also the possibility for uh, some uh, isolated thunder showers too. So rainfall reports so far with this event, we've had a couple of places uh, getting into that uh, that three quarters of an inch range. So that's Milner, the Oaks area, Styrum in that uh, area in southeastern North Dakota, Niles in the northwestern part of our viewing area, just over seven ten of an inch uh, and the Brampton area just under seven tenths and then over into Jamestown. We're at just under a half inch of rain and Fargo and Grand Forks. Not as much, but we did get a little bit of rain, a little over a tenth of an inch. Uh, some places are reporting more toward that quarter of an inch range in Fargo Moorhead right now as we're adding a little more rain to the mix. So here's that line of showers. You can see Devil's Lake again getting some rain still. Uh, this stretches southeastward toward Fargo Moorhead into Lakes Country, basically driving along I-94 through Minnesota. Going to be a wet one right now in the region and zooming in just a little bit more. You can see that we also have some areas of rain that have popped up in Cavalier and Pembina counties there and then back over again toward Carrington, seeing some rain filling in there too and uh, Lakes Country, seeing that rain lifting now north toward Detroit Lakes after it's been a little bit quieter for you. You've had a bit of a break. Looks like that's uh, starting to end as we're seeing more rain move in 25 degrees or 25 mile per hour uh, speed in Devil's Lake or Detroit. Detroit Lakes, my goodness, and then into Fergus Falls. We also have a 25 mile per hour gust, and there are places where we could see some 30 mile per hour gusts still today uh, out of the east or southeast. Temperatures are in the 50s. We are 59 in Fargo, 55 in Grand Forks, and uh, low 50s over toward places like Devil's Lake where we're at 50 degrees. Here's a look at our hour by hour planner. So today, some scattered areas of rain. Can't rule out a rumble of thunder this morning, but especially this afternoon. This is the lunch hour. You can see this initial line moving north. Southern Valley gets into a little bit of a break, but watch what happens in the afternoon. We'll see some isolated showers, even some thunder showers popping up during that time, and that could lead to a little bit of a downpour, localized heavy rain, some gusty winds, some lightning associated with that. And this is 5 p.m., so some places uh, dealing with that as the, the evening drive has started. Temperatures don't rise much. We're looking at some 50s to some 60s for highs, and eventually the wind starts to ease up, especially late afternoon and into the evening hours, as even the chances for rain also start winding down, heading into tonight, so it looks quiet in the late night hours. Finally getting a good night's sleep after the thunderstorms and the rain and the wind we've been dealing with. So starting to quiet things down tonight. We'll take a look at the rest of the week ahead coming up. Your forecast is sponsored by Innovative Basement Authority. It just keeps getting worse. The crack keeps growing. The doors and windows stick. This must be very frustrating. Almost no one connects that these are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation, but it's okay. We got it. Oh, this is done growing in this house. Okay. The effects of water can be surprising, but at Innovative Basement Authority, we'll do a complete home inspection for free. So looking at our rainfall potential, you can see that uh, the focus for more rain today, more north and east. We all have a shot, but that's where the best bet will be. We could see another half inch or so in some of those heavier showers moving through. Looking at your extended planner today, again, cooling back a little from yesterday. We got to 77 in Fargo yesterday. Won't quite get there today. And then tomorrow, so a few showers, especially in the southern end of the valley into the afternoon. Thursday does appear to be the quietest day of the work week for dry conditions. And then this weekend, and you can see we've got some lovely weather heading into Mother's Day. Some partly cloudy skies, temperatures up for 60s to some low 70s. On the drier side, I do want to say that we can't rule out an isolated shower, but right now it looks to be more on the dry side. Uh, and then heading into next week, keeping that milder weather going.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't complain with the milder weather sticking around. Yeah. yeah, 60s and 70s is in May. We're doing just fine. Yeah. And yesterday was so warm. It was windy to go with it, so you couldn't really enjoy it as sure. much as you know you might have wanted to. But yeah. but it was nice to see those temperatures go up again. Yeah. Every half second, you could feel just a little <laughs> bit of the sunlight with the wind. It was almost perfect. Yeah. Almost perfect. <laughs> just a little 50 mile per hour wind. Yep. <laughs> no, no, something light, casual. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa.